We've got some big announcements from Tyson Fury himself on his future plans and shutting down any notion that the Gypsy King is ready to walk away. After being forced to postpone his epic undisputed clash against Oleksandr Usyk, questions emerged whether Fury was using an eye injury as an excuse to retire. Well, the WBC champ is putting all those rumors to bed in a big way, stating he's got a five-fight plan ready to roll and is itching to finally face fellow British heavyweight Anthony Joshua. With his February showdown against Usyk delayed, some critics suggested Fury wasn't truly injured and perhaps looking to call it quits instead. Of course, the outspoken Fury wasted no time firing back at those accusations and reaffirming his fighting ambitions, which are as strong as ever during this video update. I ain't retiring, I've got two fights with Usyk for the undisputed twice, I'm going to fight AJ, Anthony Joshua and Nianu again. That's just the start. There are five fights for you to whet your appetite, I ain't going nowhere. I'm 35 years old and in the prime of my life. A big statement from the confident Gypsy King makes it crystal clear he has a loaded schedule ready to go, with Usyk just being the first step along the way. It was very interesting Fury specified he's open to two fights with the slick Ukrainian Southpaw. Fury and Usyk are set to collide on May 18th in Saudi Arabia, but perhaps knowing how difficult it will be to dethrone his fellow pound-for-pound -pound phenom, Fury mentioned running it back if Usyk desires. I keep hearing talk of people saying I should retire or whatever. I ain't retiring. I've got two fights with Usyk for the undisputed twice. This tells me Fury respects Usyk's sublime skills and isn't expecting an easy night in their first tangle. And after years of waiting for all the gold to be unified, a rematch makes sense to cement his undisputed status. Now, what I'm sure you all perked up about is Fury name dropping his domestic rival, Anthony Joshua. The British megafight between the 6'9 Fury and chiseled 6'6 Joshua has been demanded by UK boxing fans for ages. Both guys have come close, but various issues have prevented the enormous heavyweight spectacle from coming to fruition over the years. Until now, perhaps. Fury made it loud and clear he expects to throw down with AJ at least once in this next chapter, stating, I'm going to fight AJ, Anthony Joshua, at least once, maybe twice, if there's a rematch. If he wants one after the first battering I give him, no doubt Fury's confidence and confrontation-ready persona are already in fight mode for Joshua. And that's the throwdown the world wants to see, an all-British heavyweight title unifier for the ages. When fighters start talking about winding down or retirement, it's usually not the best sign going forward. But Fury is making zero allusions to calling it quits. In fact, his five-fight plan against elite competition like Usyk and Joshua shows that despite already cementing his legacy, Fury is still massively motivated by unfinished business in the glamour division. At only 35 years old and in his athletic prime, as he stated, the 6'9 slick fighter has plenty more epic showdowns left in the tank. We have another piece of news regarding Tyson Fury today. So Tyson Fury's co-promoter, Frank Warren, fired shots at the Ukrainians ahead of their heavyweight unification showdown. Warren took aim specifically at Usyk's apparent weakness to body punches, even accusing the undefeated former champ of playing up borderline shots to referee complaints and stoppages. With the long-awaited battle now set for May 18th, let's see what else Warren had to say about the fight coming together and Fury being well prepared to expose Usyk's flaws. Firstly, Warren gave positive progress reports on Fury's facial laceration recovery, which caused the original February date to be postponed. He confirmed the Gypsy King's condition is improving right on schedule for a strong six-week training camp leading up to the new May timeline. Warren stated, Cuts and blood always look bad, where in a couple of weeks they can look much different. If he's confident, I'm confident. He's not going to set himself a date that's going to fall apart. So great news there from the Fury camp that the cut horror shows we saw on social media should not derail his preparations this time. And with all the pressure from sanctioning bodies piling up, we can expect this undisputed dream match to finally happen on May 18th. Now that the rearranged date seems locked in, Warren pivoted to some tactical analysis of Oleksandr Usyk, specifically what he claims is the Ukrainian's biggest vulnerability. In Warren's experienced boxing view, Usyk possesses an apparent weakness in body attacks. He points to Usyk's 2021 fight with Daniel Dubois, 
where Warren alleges Dubois scored a knockdown via body shot. He has previously complaining and moaning when he gets caught to the body. Now he's in there with a guy who is the master of taking advantage of any weakness. Furthermore, Warren accuses Usyk of almost playing up lower belt line shots to elicit referee complaints and stoppages to catch a break. Here's how he explains it. He does it a lot, Usyk. He crybabies to the ref. He's had previous for it about body shots. These are very strong accusations that Usyk embellishes or plays up body blows to gain the upper hand improperly. And according to Warren, as long as the ref doesn't fall for it, Tyson Fury is ready to exploit this hole in Usyk's armor. Warren is ruthlessly trying to play mind games and get in Usyk's head regarding the body attacks. But let's break down if his criticisms hold any actual weight. Going back to the Dubois clash last year, yes, there was a bit of controversy around a body shot knocking Usyk down in round three. However, on replay, it looked borderline low, and the referee deemed it below the belt. I'd chalk that up more to Dubois' awkward punching angle than Usyk exaggerating a legal shot. Throughout his decorated amateur and pro career, I haven't noticed any pattern of Usyk complaining excessively about body blows compared to other fighters. He takes shots well and doesn't strike me as the type to act over dramatic. This seems more like a typical pre-fight promoter bluster to get in an opponent's head rather than a fair analysis. We know Tyson Fury likes targeting the body, but I don't see much evidence proving Usyk has some glass bodywork ready to shatter. However, while I'm skeptical of Usyk being especially vulnerable downstairs, there's no denying Tyson Fury himself possesses masterful body punching ability. We saw Fury use body shots brilliantly to systematically break down Deontay Wilder over 19 rounds of their epic trilogy. He's very accurate at maneuvering his huge 6'9 frame to land punishing hooks under opponents' elbows. Against a smaller man in Usyk, Fury will enjoy massive height and reach advantages that allow him to spear lancing jabs and right hands to the midsection. Going to the body early will also be crucial to slow down Usyk's fleet-footed movement. So body punching will definitely be one of Fury's go-to weapons for this intriguing clash of styles. I just hesitate to call it a supreme weakness for Oleksandr Usyk compared to other top fighters. At the end of the day, with questionable body shot opinions aside, you have to respect Warren's supreme confidence in his heavyweight meal ticket. He expects a focused and prepared Tyson Fury ready to capitalize on any openings Usyk allows. After years of waiting for all the marbles to be at stake, it's refreshing we're just over three months away from undisputed finally happening in the glamour division. With the cut gate and injury worries now behind him, Fury seems locked in for potentially a two-fight series with the slick southpaw that kicks off this May. I'm pumped to see Fury's versatile toolbox on full display as he attempts to dethrone perhaps his most technical opponent yet. That's all we have in store for today. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get the latest news updates from the world of boxing before anyone else. Till then, see ya.